There are some people who say that marriage forms the foundation of our society. These people are almost invariably religious, and I find it very strange that they often make this claim in order to explain why people of the same sex should not be allowed to get married. Uh, you would think if marriage was so critical to the ongoing success of our society, they would be in favor of allowing anyone to get married if they wanted to, but apparently this is not the case. According to them, marriage is only supporting society if it's between one man and one woman. But if people of the same sex get married, this somehow poses such a threat that it could cause a catastrophic collapse of society. I'm not making this up. People actually believe this. And this is just such a ridiculous argument. It can be completely obliterated by anyone willing to take a moment and think about it. Uh, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Canada, Spain, South Africa, Belgium, Holland, all of these jurisdictions have legalized marriage between two people of the same sex. And no great calamity has befallen any of them as a result of this. But if you think marriage really is the glue holding society together, then I invite you to envision this scenario. Suppose that tomorrow our civilization experiences a complete failure of its critical infrastructure. Our power plants stop producing any energy, we no longer have a clean water supply, our indoor plumbing isn't working, we have no fuel sources for heating or transportation or shipping, our global communications networks are dead. Now, this is the opportunity for marriage to demonstrate its true power. We've lost so much, but marriage, the alleged foundation of society, stands firm. Under these dire circumstances, will the union of a man and a woman in a committed monogamous relationship be sufficient to keep our society working on at least a moderately functional level in the absence of such critical services? Will marriage turn the power back on? Can you run your car on marriage? Will marriage restore the water supply? Uh, no, of course not. Look, love is a beautiful, wonderful, powerful thing, but reality is more powerful. Yeah, it's not very romantic, but marriage alone would not be able to hold back the tide of reality. It's plain to see that this situation would clearly end in utter disaster. Okay, so much for that scenario. Now, let's imagine that tomorrow, all of a sudden, nobody is married anymore. Marriage is no longer legally recognized. Instead, uh, everyone who was previously married is now just cohabitating, uh, living in sin, as some would say. Of course, this isn't such a far-out possibility. California has already shown that you can tell some married people, hey, you don't get to be married anymore. Uh, there's nothing stopping them from taking marriage away from everyone. So, marriage has vanished. From a legal standpoint, this would be disruptive, because marriage confers over a thousand legal rights, privileges, and benefits on the federal level, and hundreds more on the state level. This includes joint insurance policies, tax breaks, property rights, inheritance, retirement benefits, and so on. Without marriage, these benefits would no longer exist, so it would be chaotic, as formerly married couples now have to work all this out between themselves, because it wouldn't just happen automatically anymore. Would there be trouble? Uh, yes, things would definitely get kind of hectic. Would it be just as bad as a worldwide collapse of infrastructure? Uh, no, that's nuts. It's not even in the same ballpark. You might need to call your attorney, but at least you'd be able to make a phone call. People could work through this and live with it, whereas it gets kind of difficult to live without a functional toilet, for example. What I'm saying is that if you and your partner wish to get married, then please, go right ahead. However, don't pretend that the continued stability of society depends on you getting married, because it really does not. And to say that our civilization would fall apart if people stop getting married or if people of the same sex start getting married, that's just absurd and unbelievably arrogant. And please, don't use this flawed and baseless argument 
to deny your fellow consenting adults that same right to get married, because anyone with a brain can see right through this.